Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing, and I'm going to show you how you can take a frozen chicken. This sucker is frozen all the way through. I meant to take it out um, at about 6.30 this morning when I was leaving to take Jaden to the bus, and I completely forgot, and it is now 12.56. So I'm on my lunch break from work, and instead of prepping this guy, I'm defrosting him. Um, I just took the packaging off and rinsed it off in the sink. And since I am not going to be home to be able to cook this in the oven, which you can do this in the oven if you're home on like 300 degrees on low for a few hours, I have my crock pot set on low. And I put a couple of balls of aluminum foil in the bottom because as the turkey defrosts, there's going to be um, juice and liquid from it being frozen that is going to drip into the bottom and I do not want my chicken just sitting in the liquid in the bottom so I want it to be able to eventually brown up so I have balls of aluminum foil in the bottom of my crock pot and to that I'm going to add chunks of onion I just cut up an onion I ran out to the garden and picked some fresh rosemary and I cut up a lemon so I'm going to put the lemon, the rosemary, and the onion down in the bottom of the crock pot. And then I'm going to put oil and salt and pepper on the outside of the chicken and just set it in and cover it. And then at um, probably about 530 when I get home, it should be cooked all the way through. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to pop it in the oven on broil just to brown up and crisp up the outside of the chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and put it all together, put it in the crock pot, and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what the chicken looks like in the crock pot. You can see down there the aluminum balls that it's resting on and the onions and lemon and rosemary. And I decided I had some dried thyme, so I just added some thyme in also, salt and pepper and olive oil on the outside of the chicken. I just took a couple of rings of onions and put them on top of the chicken and filled them with lemon and rosemary. So that'll be dripping down the chicken as it cooks. And now I'm just gonna put the lid on and let this cook till probably about 5.30, 6 o'clock when I get home from work. And it should be cooked all the way through. I'll take it out, I'll test the temperature, and then pop it in the oven and broil it for maybe 10 minutes, if that probably lasts between five and 10 until it gets a nice crispy brown on the outside. While the chicken is cooking in the crock pot this afternoon, I am going to um, have some squash. This is some buttercup. This is a buttercup squash, and I'm gonna cut it up and um, peel it, get all the seeds out, and put it in a bowl. And I just pulled a couple of um, vinegars that I thought would taste good together out of the cabinet. Um, this is a peach infused balsamic vinegar, a little bit of red wine vinegar. This is a fig vinegar. This is just regular plain balsamic. And then I still have some rosemary left over and some thyme. I'll take this with some salt and mix it all together and put it in a bowl and let it marinate. And whenever I come in to um, take the chicken out first, I will put the squash in the oven and let it start cooking and then um, turn the heat up whenever it broils. Then the glaze on top that it's been soaking in all day will, will get into a nice dark um, sweet glaze on the outside of the squash, which will be really good. I'll go ahead and cut it up and mix it together and show you what it looks like marinating. Okay guys, I have the squash all peeled. Um, I saved the peels and the pieces I cut off for the chickens. I have the guts here to go through later because I don't have time to separate the seeds and stuff now. Um, but I have the seasoning all in here and I also decided to add in um, probably a good tablespoon of brown sugar and then I just grabbed a handful of frozen figs. I still haven't had time to make my fig preserve yet. Um, and a, a scoop or two of fig preserve would have been really good in here, but I don't have, haven't had time to make it. So I just put in some frozen figs and as they defrost, they'll get super soft and then I'll be able to come back and just smush them up before I put them in the oven and just kind of smear them all over the, uh, the pumpkin. And then I'll put them into the oven and bake until they're soft. 
Okay, here is the chicken. It has finished in the crock pot. I did put it under the broiler for about 10 minutes just to crisp up the skin a little bit. Um, all the juices are in the bottom and most of the chicken is up out of the juices. So it was steamed, but it was not sitting in the soggy juices. Um, I made a green bean casserole to go with it. And then this is the fig and balsamic squash. And I think I'm just gonna grab some cranberry sauce and this is gonna be dinner tonight.